Yeah. I hit on yeah. with the blade, yeah. not the strap. Dirty face, I might dirty face. I might fuck this bitch, no Bobby bitch. Bitch, I'm gnarly bitch. I'll watch that Yo, Tommy. What's going on, guys? Tommy Tommy Tommy. Tommy. Bring me to a video. Today, we have an 130 kills gameplay of your man. Uh, it's pretty funny. I, I, I don't even understand what the hell just happened to me in the game. Honestly, um, like the nuclear dude, I don't even think I got the nuclear, honestly. I, I tried checking him. I don't, I don't think it showed up, so I don't know if I did. I think I had one off, but um, yeah, basically, I still got 130 kills, but it's a pretty cool game, man. Um, basically, just uh, chilling in Nuketown, man. Um, I'm enjoying Black Ops 3 lately, man. Honestly, I just, I'm loving this game, dude. Like, it actually makes Call of Duty fun again. Like, just imagine playing Infinite Warfare and coming back to this. I played Infinite Warfare yesterday. I was like, what, what game am I playing, dog? Then I come back to Black Ops 3 and I literally destroy, dude. Like, uh, dude, Black Ops 3, honestly, I gave so much bad rep, but I still don't like it that much. I still think it's not a good COD, like not the best COD. I mean, I think it's the best jetpack COD, honestly. But, um, yeah. Infinite Warfare could have done way better, dude. Honestly, like Infinite Warfare, um, I actually like the game in the beginning. It's actually, it was actually a fun game, but just it got old too quick. Like nuke variants makes the game boring because you can only have a selection of guns, a couple guns that you can use for nukes. Especially if you don't, you're not like master prestige like other people. Like I'm not, I'm not like prestige three in the game. I have like three days played. I think I'm gonna have like uh prestige 25 already, bro. Like, no, so I'm not gonna get all these cool nuke variants. So I'm stuck with like three nuke variants, and it makes the game so boring, dude. Like, in Black Ops 3, I can use any gun I want, I can use a pistol, get a nuclear. Like, that's so cool, it is, dude. That's why I like the game, it makes it more variety. And the, and the game's flow is better. Infinite Warfare is all crazy, and, uh, and the lobbies are terrible. If you guys have noticed, dude, look, hop on Infinite Warfare, Jeff, finding a domination game. You run into the same people over and over and over and over again. Like, I run into the same guy every single day in my UI. Like, I remember back in the day when you never ran into the same person ever. Like, in Black Ops 2, you never ran into the same person. If you did, it was, like, lucky. It was crazy. But, uh, yeah, like, it, that never happened before, man. I don't know what's happening. It's just that the player base on Infinite Warfare is terrible, man. It's not good anymore. It's the player base and quality is going lower and lower now. So, World of War 2 better stay that player base. I'm pretty sure it will because everyone likes old World of War 2. Like, like or World War Two. I don't. Know, I don't know. If, I don't think it's gonna be called War that War Two because that's the first one that Treyarch made. But um, oh, yo, I can't wait for like the new game, dude. I want to see the trailer so bad. Um, hope you guys are excited too, man. <laughs> We're not gonna have a jetpack card, bro. Hey, we waited three years for this, dude. Since Infinite thing, Advanced Warfare came out, like everyone hated the game, dude. Like Exos made the game terrible. We had three years of flying around like bunny rabbits. Now we're actually gonna have a game we can actually just be a boots in the ground game, man. World of War, all right, or World of War Two, whatever you want to call it. Um, just all the like the the art that they uh, keep leaking, man. It just looks so cool. Like the, I think it's called D Day. Like just the the beach when the the battle happened in the beach. That's oh my god, dude. I'm looking at history right now, so it's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, man. Just I can't wait for an actual good COD, man. Hopefully, they actually bring the back. The COD feel because it's Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare, Advanced Warfare, it, it didn't have the COD feel in me, honestly, dude. If you look, if you hop on Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, and you play, it just feels like a great game. You never get bored, but then you hop on this game, it's like you're playing Halo or something, you're just flying around, there's no skill involved. Like, it's so easy to drop gameplays. Like, um, just get nuclears and, and the atomizers are so easy. Like, I literally drop like 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 10 the atomizers a day, probably. Not a day, not a day, that's kind of crazy to be honest. I don't play that much, so probably like. 10 the atomizers every couple days I drop I drop a lot of the atomizers I'm not trying to brag or anything I drop a lot of nuclears too but it's just like it, it's so easy you just fly around and stuff like boots on the ground made the game harder you get to, more strategy in it, you know what I'm saying just you get to watch a certain position you gotta watch this that just sit in the corner or something <laughs> get on the head glitch just spawn trap them it's easier now in this game you, even if you're in a head glitch you gotta just jump up and shoot you in the face like it's not it's not as challenging as before man um, but yeah I'm sorry for, for ranting on that Took a while for that rant, but um, yeah, I just wanted to let that out, man. You know, it, like Call of Duty's last three years has just been terrible, man. For competitive too, I just hate the flying around, man. Thank God it, has, it hasn't been as a, like bad as a uh, Advanced Warfare. That's like the worst COD ever, dude. Honestly, oh my God, I'm getting nightmares. It's the flying around. Oh my God, oh, this is terrible. Thank God we're gonna get the whole off. Actually, they make one more jetpack COD. They don't even, they don't even go back there. Just make, look. This is a good idea, Treyarch, or no, Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer. Obviously, putting all your eggs in one basket, just making three straight jetpack cards was not a good idea. So, obviously, you're going to be like, oh, so uh, making three straight boots in the ground cards is not going to be a good idea either. Right? No, it's going to be a good idea. It's just just make three cards boots in the ground, but make them in different time periods. Like, it's going to be World of War 2. The next year, 
maybe it'll be uh Trigger's gonna be making it. Maybe, maybe they're gonna bring back uh the Vietnam War. You know, I'll be I'll be awesome, like in Black Ops 1, the Cold War and stuff like that. Or they could just bring back like futuristic Black Ops 2 kind of gameplay. Not not too futuristic. Black Ops 2 is perfect. Just bring that back. Or you could just bring back modern gameplay. Which I think I think modern gameplay is gonna be Infinity Ward. After Black Ops uh whatever Black Ops 4 comes out, whatever it is, uh Infinity Wars will make the next COD, obviously, so they're probably gonna make Modern Warfare 4. I'm, I'm pretty sure, dudes. Like, this sells me really bad, and they wanna get their grind back. They wanna get their player base back. So, obviously, making Modern Warfare 4 is like a big deal, man. That will uh, gain a lot of, like, veterans. Just seeing the title Modern Warfare, dude, like, that's crazy, man. But that's a good idea. Just make boots to the ground. Never make um, jetpacks ever again. Just keep changing the time periods. Just keep changing and make it fresh. Don't keep putting the same modern, 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 or, or jetpack, 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 or World of War, World of War, World of War. No, just make it World of, World of War 2. Then the Cold War or something, or Modern War, or, or a little bit Futuristic War, or something like that. You know, it's just, I know I'm sorry for this brand, but it's just, I hate, just, I hate these, like, these studios that make these games. They don't understand how to make a good game, like, I guess. They, they, just don't, they don't know. They, they keep, they keep like, all these games they keep making are just terrible, man. Um. Honestly, they don't—they don't even feel like COD anymore. It's just Inf Infinite Warfare, dude, is the worst example of a COD. Like, the leaderboards came out like what four months, like after the game came out. Like, what is that, man? And the uh, Emblem Creator came out five months after the game came out. And the funny thing is, the leaderboards right now, I'm pretty sure, or like last week, they weren't even working right. You, you only can see the leaderboards of your friends. You can't even le look at the leaderboards of everybody. I, I think yeah, they fixed it already, but still, dude, it's like six, five months from the game that came out. Like, how is that even, how is that right? It's Call of Duty, bro. You had three years to make this game. There's something going fishy there, dude. He had three years to make Inf Infinite Warfare. This does not feel like a complete game, bro. It looks like Black Ops 3 a little bit, but then with like, it's just like, <laughs> like terrible designing, you know? terrible graphics, you know? Like, I feel like they took like one, they were making the game and then something happened. I don't know what the hell happened, man. Honestly, like that, that this, this game does not look like it's a three-year-old game. I'm sorry. It does not look like a game that was made in three years, let's say a game that was made like in five months. Like honestly, dude, honestly, hundred percent, dude. If you don't argue with me, you're kind of stupid to be honest. Like leaderboards came out four months after, dude. Like it's kind of obvious the game does not take three years to make. It took five months, boy. That's exactly. You probably, I probably took three years to make this supply drop content though, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, the only thing I actually agree with Infinite Warfare is I think, I think a couple things. I love the zombies. It's amazing zombies. I like it better than Black Ops 2 zombies. I know a lot of you guys are gonna roast me about that, but. Whatever, and I like the weapon, the free weapons. That is the best idea they ever came out with, dude. Free weapons, like obviously, if um you get a season pass, you get it for free. But you get out the supply drops too. And after that, if you don't have a season pass or or uh you don't have money to waste on supply drops or keys, you could just go for the challenge. And the challenge isn't that hard. Just like get 200 kills with a certain weapon with this certain site or whatever, stuff like that. It's pretty easy, man. You get the free weapon. And Black Ops 3 is such a grind to get a new weapon. So that's that's the thing I really agree with. I agree with and I like how the game loads up really fast the maps and stuff That's the main thing I love about the game, but after that dude the lobbies everything is terrible Black Ops 3 lobbies are terrible too, so I can't say anything, but yeah, just the game isn't good this year Last year was alright. It wasn't that good. It was pretty bad and the year before that was the worst and Ghost was amazing But I'm not gonna get into that because you guys are to roast me. So um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this comment I'm just trying to, trying to do something uh, a little different here, man. Just trying to Oh, ran a little bit here. <laughs> Sorry for the rant, man. I just had to, dude. I had to get this off my chest, dude. It's like everyone's not talking about it that much. But, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been Adrian, and I'm out. Peace.